بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو ود دی پروسیس آف ایتھیکل ڈسیزن میکنگ اینڈ سی دیٹ واٹ ادر اسٹیپس نیڈ ٹو بی کیریڈ آؤٹ ٹو انشور دیٹ وی کین میک مور ایتھیکل اینڈ بیٹر ڈسیزنس ناؤ وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دا تھرڈ اسٹیپ دین اٹ از سیکنگ سولوشن ٹو پرابلمس اینڈ اینالائزنگ دیم تھنکنگ اباؤٹ دا لاسٹنگ افیکٹس وائل آئیڈینٹیفائنگ دا پرابلم اینڈ سیکنگ وائبل ریسورسز ٹو ہیلپ دا وے آؤٹ اینڈ ٹو موو فارورڈ سو واٹ وی سی از is that in step three of ethical decision making, it's very important to finalize and to look at the practical and the real aspect of the problems and of the different effects which are over there. And then based upon that, allocating the requisite resources so that there is no break in the process of information sharing and also of policing a particular area or society or institution. And that is extremely important. Now, uh, when we talk about Uh, what else should be done then any advice for how to handle an issue should be filtered through the lens of how it will affect others just like i was mentioning before for instance if there is an issue with employees getting to work on time managers could install policies that change the time workers report so again uh, many times it's just a matter of a simple solution but we do not tend to uh, even get that solution approved or implement that solution because we are cozy in our own jobs that we particularly have and therefore going the extra mile is considered to be a little bit immature, while the mature just tend to have their offices, tend to have their golf, tend to have their different networks, tend to uh, see things from a different perspective, and then accordingly uh, implement it and disseminate it uh, across the board. But that decision making requires this level of prudence and also of responsibility. Uh, compatibility with the solution, basically what we see is, is that regulations in other industries is the solution feasible and most importantly companies uh, should have an established a good uh, starting point for developing ethical strategy so this is also very important as step four it might also be helpful to take a look at the mistakes the companies uh, leaders company and other organizations have made and one should learn from them so uh, the elders always say that it is better to learn from someone else's failure than to fail oneself and then uh, get up again Uh, because that would be a lot of uh, time lost. Again, uh, when we see that these different steps are carried out, then we have better, long-lasting, uh, socially acceptable uh, decisions, which would have a very important and long-term effect on the society at large. Thank you so much.